Hello everyone and welcome back to Stardew Valley. This is Showboat and today I believe I said we would go fishing with positive luck and we will do so with a bunch of specialized bait. Pull out our iridium rod. Pull out uh well, I'm not going to be using the trap bobbers. I need to pull out my gold as well. Uh, and we are going to craft... Oh, I could make some explosive ammo for a slingshot. But, uh, yeah, we are going to craft some magnet bait. Yeah, that sounds about right. That's that's about what I want. And then uh, a few of those. You know, deposit those things. And we are now good. Hey, things from Linus, fried calamari that I don't really need. Or want. Hello, things. Could process more copper, but don't really feel like it right now. Put my winter roots in here. Oh right, we have things that we need to uh, donate, some geodes to crack uh, as well. Stuff that I should do before we really get into fishing for the day. And it is a Friday, so I could buy another Iridium Sprinkler. Pull that out. Shift that over. All the animals. Get all of my wonderful milk for the day. Oh. go. Store that. Check on the chickens. There we go. I was like, I should have one more. Where are you? And this is fully upgraded now. We are fully upgraded, which means that we can buy more. We can buy more things! Four more, actually. Which is wonderful. And we will do that. We will absolutely do that today. We can also start upgrading our chicken coop. Which means we're going to need to pull out our wood and our stone. Now let's see if Marnie is actually working today. So this will be the route that we take. We're going to go around... Yes, I saw those. Uh, I saw those wiggly... Worms on the farm map. Have I donated this? Yes, I have. Hello, I need your pigs. I need two of them. They are quite expensive. Uh, 
And I guess I'll get two sheep for good measure. And that is that for that barn. Let's get some speed going. Hey, we got some bread. Cool. Buy our beautiful iridium sprinkler for the day. Head on over to our wonderful blacksmith. So we can crack our geodes and we can go over and donate as well. Sell the things. Because sure, why not? Make back a little bit of money. See that we're quite close to level 7 on our luck. Ah, beautiful donations. Oops, where am I going? I need to go up here to you, to the mines, so that I can go down and over. Ooh. I want you. Double the crystal fruit. Cool. Ooh, please give me what I really want in this world. Darn, you didn't give me what I really want in this world. Yet it and do it. Yet it and do it. Big coop time, 400 and 150. Alternatively, at some point, I could make this slime hutch. But I'm not going to. I'm going to upgrade my coop first to max. Then we can worry about other things, like building an additional silo. Uh, so yeah, I need ducks. That's like the big thing that I need. No, they all died. I think it's fishing time. I think it's fishing time. Let's get rid of all this baloney. Just get rid of that, please. Time for fishing. Fishing with the intent of getting a whole lot of beautiful, wonderful treasure chests. <laughs> and I immediately don't get a treasure chest on the first thing that I catch. Beautiful. Isn't it always the way? That's always the way. Wow, no on the second either. Wow. Whole point is just get a lot of treasure chests. We shall see how effective this ends up being. Not very, I think, is the answer. I think my RNG is awful, despite being increased luck today. So our daily luck is higher, which should mean that we get more. And we're using the uh, equipment that gives us more. Oops, our tackle wore out. Remember that every three casts is an iron bar that was spent on the bait for this.
bait that costs a grand at uh, at Willie's shop. A grand a piece at Willie's shop. Never really understood that. What did we get? Things. Now, through fishing, you can potentially get a dinosaur egg. That is among the things that you can get from the treasure chest, as well as... Um, I believe you can get ancient seeds as well. From fishing. And there are certain other things you can only get by fishing. Gosh, I hate the Lincod. They are literally everywhere this season. Suppose I could fish down at the uh, ocean and not have as big of an issue. But you do get squid at night. Alright, I'm gonna go for that because our lure prevents the reduction to the fishing bar. I should eat my trout soup shouldn't I? Sturgeon! Beautiful sturgeon. Eat my trout soup. And off we go. Continuing along, trying to get a bunch of stuff. I mean, at this time of day, I don't think that the uh, ocean has anything particularly challenging. Evening, though, <laughs> has lots of stuff that's challenging. Actually, I could be wrong. I think there's cucumbers that are out there that you can catch that are diff relatively difficult. But I'd, I'd much prefer having level 10 fishing at that point. We should hit level 10 fishing this season. It'll be an additional two or three fishing trips by the end of the season, but we should get up to level 10 by then. And then a rainy day in spring is when we'll be able to catch the spring uh, legendary fish, but... <laughs> Yeah, let's just say I wouldn't need some good luck for that. And lots of trap bobbers. Looks like one more treasure chest will increase us to level 7 for our luck skill. Which the game is just refusing to give me. Oh, hey, largemouth bass. That's pretty nice. Just give me another treasure chest, please! I'm running out of things to talk about. I really am. Well, the lure's doing alright so far. Only about halfway gone. Hey, a hit. And no treasure chest. Really? 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 I've already ate all of my dish of the sea that I got for free, so... That's unfortunate. Hey, level 7! I got bait! Regular bait that I'm not currently using. Oh, I'm probably gonna lose this one. This is a, uh... I don't know what this is. It could be a sturgeon. It could be a, uh, lingcod. I think this one's a sturgeon. Place your bets. It was a lingcod! <laughs> Great. So now we're just fishing primarily for the, uh, experience, but any additional treasure chests are greatly appreciated. 
I'm not sure which is technically better for getting treasure chests, either fishing more often with the bait and the uh, trap bobber to catch more fish reliably, or using this setup with the magnet and the treasure hunter to attempt to get more treasure chests for the fish that you catch. Pretty sure this is supposed to be more effective, but we shall see. Keep getting these dress spinners. I don't want them. They're not really needed. No, don't don't leave me. Well, that sucked. We're about halfway to level 10 for our fishing skill. This is the longest grind for skill in the game, in the base game, without mods, is uh, fishing. Fishing is usually the last one. Ooh, a skeletal tail that we've already donated. We are, of course, going to use all of our time today fishing. I need to eat another trout soup. It's time. This time. Really? Nothing? And the tackle wore out. And the tackle wore out. And I have more. There we go. Whoops. Five. Go. Part of me is tempted to get one of those keyboards that has blank keys, where every key is just blank on the whole keyboard, but just thinking about it logically, it's like, man, I know how to keyboard, but still not having any visual indication of what's what, I'd still be able to figure it out, it would just take time to really learn to use again, because, wow. That's like for the really hardcore out there. And yeah, that one wasn't gonna happen. For the truly insane, they do exist. Those, uh, faceless keyboards. Because, I mean, think about it, how often does one actually use the, uh, like, look down at the keys when playing games, for instance. I think the only things I look for on the keyboard just to make sure are, like, the numbers. That's, that's when I never really got down fully. Uh, with touch typing was the, the row of the numbers at the top, and, uh, like sometimes some, some of the special characters. Oh, please, come on. I almost have, had you. Stop it! Oh my god, I'm gonna lose this fish. You don't deserve to be this difficult, Mr. Ling God. There's no reason for that to be that difficult. Have I mentioned that I don't particularly enjoy the fishing mechanic in this game? Don't really enjoy it at all.
I mean, clearly there needed to be something for fishing in the game because it is based off of Harvest Moon series. And uh, that one's pretty basically always had fishing. So they needed, they needed to have it in some capacity. I just don't like this execution. This particular method of execution. Oops. I clicked by mistake. We are over halfway now. Uh, towards level 10. We're getting there. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. And we're almost 10% of the way for our luck skill. So this will be nice. What do we got? Copper. We are just not getting lucky with the contents of these treasure chests today. Which is a shame. It's a shame! Ah, anyway. So, how is everyone doing who watches this video? <sighs> It'll be a while before I eventually see the responses. Maybe someone will watch all the way. I really don't blame you if you skip the fishing parts of this series. I really don't blame you if you just skip the series, to be completely honest. Some people don't really like watching people in the mines as much as I am in the mines. Some people don't like watching the fishing as much as I'm fishing, but uh, there are people who do. So, for them, this is for you, just to see how I fish. Oh, we are about 60% of the way towards level 10 on our fishing. We are going to get there at some point. Now, I believe, yeah, our thingy is gone, the buff is gone. We're about 10% of the way on luck. Oh, goodness, I'm not going to catch this one. I sort of need my trap bobbers to uh, catch those. I think now it's only Lincoln. I believe the sturgeon no longer appear at uh, this time of night. So it's only the Lincoln. Is that what it can be? Hello. At least I think it can only be Lincod. Oh, come on. This is definitely a Lincod, I can tell, and I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose this one. I don't have my buff, I don't have my trap bobber, and I'm level 9. Maybe I'll get this one. Maybe. I got it! Yay! Finally! That gives some good experience, by the way. Though it'd be even better if I had my trap mobber. Come on, give me the treasure chests! I needs them! This will be our last fish that we catch, whatever it is. Whatever this ends up being will be the end. Come on. There you go. This is the end! By the way, that is a reference, that last song phrase. That is a reference to a an opera, actually, called the Four Note Opera. It is pretty much a spoof or satire on uh, opera in general. 
the, the entire thing, and it's only four notes. Well, I'm pretty sure different different octaves, but the same four notes for the entire thing. Uh, and it is one that my mother performed in when it was performed at uh, Old Dominion University. She was the soprano. Because every role in that opera is the name of the type of singer. Which is interesting. And basically, for people who have seen operas and sort of know the types of uh, events that happen in the operas, how they're generally structured, this is just a uh, big... It just makes fun of the entire structure of a lot of operas, which makes it pretty neat and funny. So look that one up. The Four Note Opera. Uh, I don't know if I have anything ready in here today. I probably do. I absolutely do. I've got some grape wine. I've got some pickled eggplant. Alright, so I need nine grapes and a bunch of eggplants. Alright, so... nine grapes. Alright, yes, nine grapes and eleven... ...eggplants. And I may as well go over here to put some... ...stuff away. Put these guys away. That away. That away. I need to go back because I need to put that away. And I think that we are good to go. Go in here. Oh, goodness gracious. That's now ready as well. No, I don't want to eat it. Oops. I made a mistake. I am so sorry. Um, that was these. Well, I need to get to bed, like, really quickly. So, unfortunately, I can't actually finish that out. Off to bed, into bed, into bed as quickly as I possibly can. There we go. Last second, made it. We did it. We did it. With that, I would like to thank you all for watching. This has been Showboat, and next time we will take care of that mess that is in the shed, and uh, yeah, we're gonna figure something out at some point. I don't know. See you all then!